what you're most likely to sell. Another way that trade publishing and self-publishing differ is in terms of what format you're most likely to sell. Most new authors, when they think about publishing their book, think about print books, something tangible that they can hold in their hands, sign for fans, and give to their grandma. Now, even on the trade published side, that's not a given anymore. But let's pretend that side of the business isn't as complicated as it really is. And let's focus on the big publishers who are still doing print runs for their titles. If you go the trade publishing route, it is likely your book will be published in some form of paperback and also in ebook. Hardcover is not guaranteed and mass market paperback seems to be in decline, which saddens me greatly because that's how I discover new authors. And I don't like ebooks. <sighs> Seems I'll be renewing my library membership soon. For those of you unfamiliar with the terms I just used, if you go to a bookstore, you'll see three main types of books. Mass market paperbacks, trade paperbacks, and hardcovers. Mass market paperbacks are the small ones that are about the size of your hand. Trade paperbacks are the paperbacks that are taller, usually eight to nine inches, and usually printed on a better type of paper. And hardcovers are the ones with the pretty dust jackets and hardcover. Often, people get confused about the difference between mass market and trade paperbacks. If you self-publish, you are likely publishing a trade paperback size. So price accordingly, somewhere in the range from $12.95 to $17.95 US dollars. Based on an article from Publishers Weekly dated April 28, 2017, the breakdown between the different formats in 2016 for trade publishers was 24% hardcover, 46% trade paperback, 7% mass market paperback, and 22% ebook. That means 77% of trade published books were sold in some form of print version. We're ignoring audio, which wasn't covered by that article. So print is still very much a part of the market on the trade publishing side. Maybe not for all authors, but overall. Now, on the self-publishing side, it's very different. Most self-published books sell predominantly in ebook, especially when it comes to genre fiction. For my contemporary romance novels, 99% of my sales are in ebook. For my YA fantasy novels, 95% of my sales are in ebook. And that's a pretty typical result. That means less than 5% of my fiction sales are in paperback. So remember how we started this chapter with the fact that most new writers think about print first? That's a mistake if you're going to self-publish. If you choose to self-publish, you need to focus on ebook sales first. If you only do a print version of your book, which is the natural inclination, you will be missing out on the majority of your sales. Now, there are some areas, even with self-publishing, where print is more dominant. For me, that's in nonfiction. For others, it's in children's books. But even there, ebook matters more than you'd think it should. I have some guides to Microsoft Excel that contain a number of screenshots. You would think that if any type of book would sell in print, it would be a nonfiction title with lots of images. And those guides do sell substantially more copies in print 
than my fiction does. But even there, 44% of my sales are still in ebook. Also, you need to understand what type of print book we're talking about. With a large trade publisher, they're usually going to do a print run of X books based upon pre-orders and bookstore orders. So let's say 1,000 books that the publisher pays a printer to print up front. That money is spent. Those books exist whether they sell or not. In contrast, most self-publishers use print-on-demand POD services instead, like KDP Print or Ingram Spark. With POD, the book is only printed after a customer orders the book. There is no inventory to keep and no upfront cost. A lot of authors who move to the self-publishing side don't know that POD options exist, and they start looking around for a printer. Don't do that. You'll end up with a garage full of books you can't sell. POD is your friend. You may not have the same margins with POD as you would with a print run, but you also won't spend a ton of money on books that you then can't sell. So to sum it up, with TradePub, think print as much as ebook. With SelfPub, think ebook first and only do print as POD, at least initially. <laughs>